you can see the tree down that I just passed and problem is I came to this mess um, this is kind of what we saw on the north branch as well too there were sections where it was littered with debris and logs so this one I'm gonna see if I can sneak through here and uh, find my way down this channel and over again though it's always a little tricky uh, it's a good thing I'm in a dry suit in case I do fall in um, but you got to also be careful because there is current here as well too and being alone uh, It could be pretty risky if you fall in and you can't get out But uh, at least the current is not super strong here But nonetheless, I have to be careful. So let's see how this goes say in this instance the high water helped sometimes uh, low water helps because you can walk on top of the logs but uh, it really all depends on the circumstances this one worked out for me it wasn't too bad all right let's keep going hopefully no more uh, log jams there is uh, streaks of blue yeah even behind me let's hope the Sun comes out that'll be really nice So you see the banks are pretty flooded. Should be a pretty easy paddle, assuming that there's no other obstructions along the way. The north branch doesn't take us along a marsh, it's more forested. So I would say it's prettier than this, but uh, hey, you gotta experience a little bit of everything. Okay, it all meanders and breaks apart here. It looks like there's some more log jams. It actually breaks off and goes multiple channels. There's, there's a channel over there as well, too. Hmm. Oh boy, this will get interesting. Okay, um, had to pull off. I had to get my mount off, my GoPro mount. This is the one thing about uh, the dangers of filming yourself. If you're involved in moving current, and there's now brush and things in the way that um, thing that's the the mount for your GoPro uh, could easily get tangled get caught it could it could hold and then flip the canoe so there's always that danger so I had to pull off and get it off and then I use a smaller one here because um, it looks like there's two channels right ahead one's got a little bit of a log jam the other one looks like it's straight through but there's branches uh, thin branches that are hanging down and it would definitely get caught on the GoPro mount that's why I think I'm going to try going through that channel without the log jam but again I, I couldn't have done it with that mount I'm just going to have a couple uh, roasted chestnuts and then uh, I'll make my way otherwise uh, it looks like it's getting brighter there's, there looks like there's some blue, blue skies uh, peeking through so that would be nice if the sun comes out Okay, I'm trying to get underneath these uh, if I can make my way around this I might have to step over this turn the canoe around so then get over another underneath another branch One branch is pretty strong. There we go. There we go. This is going to be interesting. 
the creek diverts, the river diverts in so many different channels. Ooh, there's a bunch of branches here. That, I don't even know which one's the main one. Hopefully I can get to the main one. Otherwise, uh, it's going to be interesting. So I can get through this one. Ah. This river in this marsh just branches off like crazy, especially with the high water. And it's going every which way. And I don't know which is the right uh, channel or which is the right uh, branch. There's another one going this way. Um, I, w I went this way and of course it's it's like almost like a dead end. I mean, I could see water beyond there, but I'd have to literally cut through that to get uh, the cane through. So I'm gonna try to go through here and see if I can find my way around. If not, I uh, might have to drag the canoe and get try to get back to the main channel. So this little uh, jaunt may not end up being such an easy little uh, trip after all. Thank goodness it's opening up. I think all the water's going down into the southern branch of the Harris River, so hopefully this is uh, this is right. All right, I think I finally found the main branch. Wow, I was definitely in the wrong spot. You can see how much wider it is here, and it's moving pretty quick. It's going to probably be fun trying to come back up on the north branch. Look at that. So much wider. So from that log jam, I might have actually uh, went off on a side branch instead of the main channel. Well, good to know I'm back on track. Paddling the marsh uh, at high water levels when the water moving is moving this fast is actually a lot of fun. A lot of twists and turns. Um, I don't think I'm still on the main channel. Oh, maybe right in here. Although ultimately I think they all will match up and they'll end up going over the falls, which is coming up because I can hear it in the distance. But it is actually a lot of fun paddling through here. I'm just glad I didn't have to walk and uh, slog through that section uh, previously because the water is actually very, very deep. As you see, we are at the end of the marsh. And if you listen carefully, you can hear rapids or possibly falls. So we're going to go check it out. See if there's something to run. Or there's something that we have to pour charge around. This is not so bad. That's totally doable. That's totally doable. Just have to check it all though. Because there's like four lines here. So I'm going to make sure we cover it all before we take the attempt to run them. Okay, let's go check it out. So these are not falls. They are uh, multiple sets of rapids. Um, I believe that's the end there. I'm not gonna bother walking there um, because it does drop there and I'll need to get my stuff to the bottom of there. But it's unfortunate because uh, most of these rapids could be run. It is, uh, it is a high volume, um, but the problem is there is a big uh, class three and, and a ledge right uh, kind of in the middle. And it's gonna make it really risky, especially because you're gonna do a long run. If you take in water and you lose control, then you're you're in for a long tumble down this river. So this spot here is where there'll be a little bit of a problem. The waves are significantly bigger. 
and you would take in a lot of water here. Now, assuming that you make the top part okay, it's too bad because I was getting excited for the top part, but then here, like you can go to the right, river right, but the problem is you, there's a big drop there. There's really no way here. You can kind of go center, but again, a big drop and all these big waves which just you would take in so much water and then you would lose control and probably either dump or have to swim out there before the last drop. So, unfortunately, as much as I like to run the top set, it's just too risky. Um, and this part, it's just, I, it, there's no way you can do it without a, a spray deck. Unfortunately, this is going to be a long portage for me. And then after that, it uh, should be pretty calm to the main branch of, or the north branch of the Harris River. After making it back to the canoe, it was time to begin the double carry. Unfortunately, I didn't film this section. There was no portage, but at least the force wasn't too dense, nor the terrain too gnarly, and I was able to get it done in a reasonable amount of time. Okay, the portage is done. Uh, it's probably less than a kilometer down this way before it joins up with the main branch. Uh, I was gonna camp, at the junction but I am a little concerned now because how strong the current is of the water flowing down the Har down Harris River so when I get to the junction instead of looking for a campsite I'm gonna start making my way back up and I go I'll go to at some point uh, and then I'll uh, I'll call it quits for the night uh, it's just because as you get as you know strong current gonna make it difficult to move upstream especially paddling solo so I'd rather make some time today going up river and then uh, can't be closer to the put-in okay I'm just gonna have a little bit of lunch I had to peel off my dry suit because it was sweating it was so hot but to have a little bit of a little bit of lunch something to eat and then I'll continue making my way down but it's beautiful Okay, the chill's back on. Got everything uh, packed away. Had my lunch and it's time to move on. Gotta say goodbye to this beautiful place. Really, really beautiful. Too bad I couldn't run some of this. Would've been fun. Anyhow, now to the North Branch.
gotta love these big uh, white pines, except when they fall into the river and they block the way. So thankfully, uh, I should be able to squeeze underneath here, just break some branches and I should be able to tuck underneath. But man, that's a big tree. And uh, over there, we've been a little sketchy, but thankfully I should be able to squeeze in underneath here. Okay, so we just arrived at the north branch. So we're gonna make our way back up the north channel and hopefully it won't uh, be too difficult with the current. Here, at least this po point, it, because it's wide, it doesn't look too bad. But if it gets narrow, it could get uh, a little challenging. But uh, that's the falls over there. You won't be able to see it, but uh, I'm sure it's, uh, there's a torrent going over it. Okay, definitely looks a lot more flooded than it did when we came here in June. So let's uh, now head back. Okay, so I've come to like a swift and, and shallow section. Um, I won't be able to paddle up it. Water level is still not high enough. So I'm going to take the line. I'm going to try to see if I can line it up. Try to keep my feet dry. Um, ultimately, if I can't, then I'll have to get my feet wet. But uh, let's see how it goes. made it pretty good so far I did the long stretch and then I paddled a bit and then it was just uh, this small stretch I just got a line up there but then there's a, a log jam uh, I just got to do probably a lift over there but I'm almost there anyhow I just saw this little creek coming in and I'm gonna run up and check to see where it's coming from all these creeks of course are melt water or high water creeks that don't flow in the summertime so it's always kind of cool to see where they're coming from and what's feeding them but man look at look at the size of that white pine wow I saw some big ones around and there's still every once in a while there's some big trees around I think this is might be a hemlock but anyhow let's go up and take a look to see where this is coming from okay so just at the top of the drop and it just meanders through there there could be a pond or a swamp that just got uh, swollen and it's just flowing down. So yeah, I probably won't bother because it'll probably be uh, a little bit of a walk before I even find anything, if it, if anything. But again, look at the size of this tree. This is another one. Wow. Now that I think is a poplar. That is not yeah, a white pine or a hemlock. It seems like it's a poplar. Based on all the branches that are come off, coming off of it. Yeah, that is huge. Wow. I certainly couldn't get my arms around that. It would take at least two of us. All right, well, let's head back. Thank <laughs> you. 
There we go. Despite the little bit of effort getting up some sections, the rest was easy. The current wasn't an issue, and the paddle up river and the comp sections were sublime. Here in the summer, early summer with Bill, we had a lift over where <laughs> I fell into the water. First time I fell into, into the water doing a lift over. And I suspect this might be it. Um, this could very well be it. I'm pretty sure it is. Let me just see here. Actually, it may or may not be. Hmm. This is going to be a little bit of a pain to navigate. I remember doing this with Bill. Hmm. <sighs> I think the best way is to sneak through here and try to make my way through there and push through it because all the big logs are over on this side. All right, let's give it a shot. <sighs> Getting there.
light at the end of the tunnel. Whew. Made it. Wow, that was tough. We're coming on to a falls. All right. Something prettier than all this detritus and junk coming off the cottages. All right, so these, this is, uh, there's two falls between here and Harris Lake. This is the first one. Uh, and this is kind of a long, there's a small drop at the top and then there, it just cascades from there all the way down to the bottom. And then the first one, uh, whether we're gonna get there today or not, I'll see, um, is a good multi-stage drop. So let's see. I am close to Harris Lake, so I could definitely end the day here. I just gotta find a place to camp. And this might be a nice pretty place to stay too. When I was here in late spring, we portaged on River Left. So after pulling up, I decided to check out the falls from the other side, high up along the cliffs. I just want to see the falls from this side. We portaged on the low side, but I just wanted to take a look from this side. But as I came to the top, what do you know, there's a metal can just in the middle of nowhere. Weird. And it wouldn't be from high water levels because this is way too high. But uh, it's interesting that you'll find stuff all over the place. If you look hard enough, you'll probably find some evidence of other people being here. Being that this is a falls, I'm sure other people would want to come here and see exactly what I'm seeing right now. Look at that. Look at the view. And <laughs> look at that. Look at those boards down there. It falls right there. Let's see if we can go down and check that out. There's the uh, first part of the falls and there's the big one over there. Big drop, let's keep going. There she is. Woo! It was nice seeing the falls in its perspective from the other side, but then I saw this. These are squares or rectangles, holes in this tree. I've never seen this before. I would have almost said it's man-made, but I don't know. If anyone has the answer to this, please comment below, but this is so unusual. Okay. Okay, hold on. I was just turning around. And look, there's another tree here. And it's got similar cutouts. Huh. Interesting. So it's about 10 to 6. And, um... I'm at the second falls on the north branch. Um, a little paddle further um, back east, uh, there'll be a one uh, big falls. Um, and then after that, a short paddle, and it'll take us to Harris Lake. So I'm fairly cl uh, close to the end. And uh, seeing that it's late now, I'm gonna set up camp here. There's a nice flat spot up here. 
and you can see that there's uh, the falls here and the canoes over there. So I'm going to quickly get set up and get comfortable, get out of this dry suit and uh, yeah, settle in for the night. breakfast. I'll focus. 